Hi everyone, it's Rio Se and this is Just A Life TV and today we have an episode of a new series that I'm doing. Wow, new series agad! Sana mas maging consistent ako sa pag -vlog. But, I have been planning to do this for quite some time and I think because malapit ang Christmas season and malapit ang New Year, it's the perfect time to start. So this series is called... Tita Tips! Walang ablos, walang fanfare, but yeah, it's basically as a legit tita, tita. <laughs> as a legit tita, I have a few tips for new titas and old titas. Basically, all titas. One of the things that you have to know about me, if you don't know me yet, or if this is your first time here, I'm very fussy or in Tagalog, maarte. Maarte in a way that ayokong pumipila. I hate na naiinitan kasi super pawisin ako, guys. Like, madali talaga akong pagpawisan. I easily sweat. One of the things that I really avoid, like I actively avoid it, is doing transactions in government offices. Because usually the pila is super haba. And you don't only line up once. You line up several times or you wait several times. Like for example, you get there, you sign up the form, and then you pila again, wait for something, and then you pila again to pay for something, and then you pila again to get whatever it is that you're there to get. Now, this is something that I always avoid and this is one of the reasons why I don't have a driver's license, guys. In the digital age, hopefully the government will make it easier for us to get these things online. And I'm so happy because a few years ago, I learned that you can get your NSO documents online. NSO stands for National Statistics Office and this is the office where you can get your birth certificate, your marriage certificate, which I don't have, I think. I'm not yet married. And if you're getting married soon, you, this is also where you get your Senomar. So Senomar is one of my requirements if you want to apply to be my boyfriend. Senomar is Certificate of No Marriage. If you want to know how to lessen the hassle of doing government transactions, keep on watching. No pila, no stress. First guys, you go to NSO. It's NSO. Helpline.ph okay. The URL is NSO Helpline.ph but the title card is the PSA Helpline.ph because the new name of NSO is the Philippine Statistics Authority. Hindi na siya NSO. And there are four options here. The first is birth certificate, which I have tried ordering online already. The second is marriage certificate. And the third is Senomar. The final one is death certificate. O order tayo ng birth certificate. The next thing they ask you is what you're going to use it for. The options here are marriage, passport or travel application, employment abroad, school requirement, local employment, claims, benefits or loans, U.S. Embassy verification, Australian Embassy, Consulate General of Spain, negative intact, I'm not too sure what that is, and others. So ako, even if I'm gonna use it for passport or whatever, I usually choose others because here's a tip for you guys. Order as much as you want. So ako, usually I order at least three but the next time I need a birth certificate. So kanyari marami akong pangangailangan ng birth certificate. For example, I'm gonna apply for a passport, a visa, whatever. I usually order at least three at a time. Lalagay ko dito what is the purpose of your application. That's the next step. If it's easier for you guys, like there are some titas, it's easier for them to do things like this on their desktop. You can also do this in your desktop or your tablet. My purpose of application is various purposes. I'll click on next. And has any legal proceedings been done to this certificate? When we say legal proceedings, guys, these are yung people like, for example, underwent a naturalization process, they were adopted, stuff like those. So, ako, none. So there are options here, okay. And dyan naman siya, to guide you. I'll choose none. And then, okay, this is the part na dapat meticulous kayo, guys, because it will ask for a lot of details. So first off, of course, you have to 
enter your name. So if you're married, it should be your maiden name. Let's go to next. It will ask you three things. Your gender, the birthright, whether you're an, a legitimate child of your parents or an illegitimate child. I find this a bit inappropriate to be honest. But, you know, I think for filing purposes, for documentation purposes, it's important. And what is the certificate owner's date of birth? So month, day, year yung format. I'll put female, legitimate, and then for the month, choose your month and then the date and the year. So guys, another note, you can only order if you are the owner of this certificate or you have authorization to do so. So next, was the certificate owner born in the Philippines? Yes. Okay, this is a trivia about me. I was raised in Davao, but I was actually born in Metro Manila. Now, the tricky part is if you do not know the exact location where you were born, medyo mahirapan tayo, guys. But ako, I know I was born in the city of Manila. So this part, you really have to be knowledgeable. It has to be the complete name of your father. So if there's a suffix, example, junior siya or senior siya, it has to be complete. Before, nahirapan ako dito dahil I wasn't too sure about the spelling of my Lola's family name. It will also ask for the middle name of your parents, so your mom and your dad. And the spelling has to be precise because there are some, like for example, if your family name is De Jesus or De La Cruz. So, may space ba? Ano yung capitalized? Stuff like those. Your mother's maiden name also, you have to put the full name. Maiden, again guys, maiden name, not married name. And then, this one is very important. You should be the one to receive your birth certificate or whatever document it is that you're ordering online. The options here are owner of the certificate, which is yourself, the legal spouse, the father of the certificate owner, the mother, the son, the daughter, or none of the above. So you can have a proxy or somebody authorized to accept it. In this case, I will be the one to accept it. So I will put my first name, middle initial, and then last name. If you're married, there's a dash option here. And then, then, it says here there's a note, the requesting party must be of legal age. It means you should be 18 years old and above. And the name above should match the valid ID to be presented during delivery. So, yung mga valid ID are usually, you know, your passport or if you're still in school, your school ID for the current school year. I think voter's ID is accepted also. Based on my experience, only one ID is required. There's a note here, please present your signed original valid ID and Submit a photocopy to the courier. When you're expecting it to be delivered, you should already have a photocopy on hand. Next, you provide your contact information. Ito yung problema ko. Hindi ko memorize ang aking mobile number. 0908. Of course, hindi ko sabihin sa inyo. And you also have to provide your email address and your landline number. You have to include your area code also, including the zero at the beginning. Where should the certificate be delivered? You have to have your complete address. I already tried getting my birth certificate doon mismo sa NSO, now called PSA, here in Davao. Chumamba ko that time, walang pila. But, natagalan because I'm based here in Davao and my birth certificate is from Manila pa. After that, I decided to just order online once I found out that the option to order online is available. Kasi nga, you know, the asset. Put also yung kung ilan yung kailangan yun. It's now time for checkout. Before checkout, you will see the summary of your orders. Check especially the numbers because if they will have a hard time contacting you, baka hindi ma-deliver. There are several notes here. Number one, provide a valid delivery address. We only deliver within the Philippines and if you are not available during delivery, you might assign an authorized representative to receive the documents for you. And then, they will give you the total amount. So, for birth certificate, it is 365 pesos each copy. I ordered three, so it's 1,095. And click on the terms and conditions box. I certify that all the information I provided is true and correct. Nasa order confirmation na ako, guys. Got the reference number. Just checking everything. I also have here the requirements for the authorized representative. Okay, delivery summary. So it says here that to complete your order, you can pay 
using any of the payment channels below. After payment, your PSA certificate will be delivered in 2 to 7 working days. So kindly open your email address for additional delivery reminders. 30-day note. After two attempts to deliver your documents, all undelivered and unclaimed documents shall be returned to the PSA after 30 calendar days and payments shall be forfeited. There are several ways that you can pay. Online, you can pay using MasterCard or Visa. And you can also pay via several over-the-counter payment channels. I'm going to pay using my PayMaya account because this is currently my favorite payment channel for almost everything. I'm going to the PayMaya app and then I'm gonna log in. So you might ask me, why are you going to pay using PayMaya when there are other channels? I'm going to pay via PayMaya because number one, it's convenient. You can go cashless anytime. And number two, I want to share with you sa mga tita na who don't want to share your card number. Usually kasi, if you don't want to use your debit card or credit card, or you usually have to go to the bank or to the convenience stores to pay over the counter. Now what I'm going to teach you guys today is how you can pay online but in a safer manner Plus, okay, para sa mga tita na kagaya ko na gusto makatipid, you can also get cashback. What you do is you go to your PayMaya account and go to the pay bills na screen or na button. So the pay bills button is here at the bottom. So I clicked on that and there are several over here. So I'll show you different screen caps kung ano yung mga government bills or government payments that you can do via the PayMaya app. Kung if you're the type of person who likes doing a lot of errands all at the same time, sunod-sunod, you can just enter the, the PayMaya app and do it ng sunod-sunod. So among the things that I see here, and I'm only mentioning government facilities na pwede kang mag-pay ng bills mo online are DFA. You can also pay your pag-ibig bills here. There's a separate payment option for housing loan and there's also another option for membership. If you don't want to go through the hassle of scrolling up and down, meron tayong search bar on top. I'll go to NSO. After you have ordered via the NSO site or the PSA site, you will receive an email with your payment details. I always screen cap the screen where the details are. Dun pala sa email na ipapadala sa ng NSO, there's a list of acceptable IDs that you can use and all the reminders for when you have an authorized representative accepting or receiving the document for you. The reference number ng babayaran ko is also in my emails. Usually, you can write this down or you can just screen cap. Dito sa NSO Pay Bills Portal, ayan, it will only ask you three things, but you have to be very specific. So, number one is the account number, so that's the reference number. And then you have to be precise also with the amount that you have to pay, so don't forget the decimal value. If there's a decimal value, for the account name, put your name na ni request mo. And then you get a confirmation. So ayan, the amount is there, the account number. So double check natin, tita, para sure tayo. Yes. Okay, and then let's pay. Okay, so the payment was successful. Hindi na kasi office hours guys, it's 1 a.m. So obviously, hindi na nila makikita yung bayad ko. You should expect that you will get a confirmation online of your payment. So the next thing that you have to expect will be an email in your inbox na they have received your payment and they're already processing your document request. And then just wait for your document to arrive at your house. So one of the things that I really love when I'm using PayMaya is I often get cash back. If you say cash back, it literally means you get a portion of your cash back. But sometimes it's not even a portion, you get 100%. The cash back that you will get depends on the transaction you do, the amount that you have paid, and the current promo for cash backs. The details of the cash back promo for PayMaya will be down below. Okay guys, 
So now I'm gonna say goodbye to you kasi hintayin ko yung aking birth certificate. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna make a new video or maybe on my Instagram stories or on my Facebook account. So don't forget to follow my social media accounts so that you will see pag natanggap ko na yung birth certificates ko. So now I've shown you how you can get one without even leaving the house, pati payment. And it's secure, it's hassle-free, and there's a chance for you to get cash back. So, makakatipid ka pag. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate that you're here. Nakikitita kayo with me. If you have any questions para sa isang legit na tita kagaya ko, if you want to know more tips from Tita Ria, do subscribe. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button because I do have a lot of videos that I'm going to do. I'm actually here downstairs, not in my room, but here in our dining room because I'm gonna do another video soon. So, don't forget to hit on that notification bell button. Thank you.